Wow, you guys are dusty too. So we're gonna go have a quick look at it. Ooh, here we go again. Yeah, let's close it up. Wow. Wow, you guys are dusty too. That's a pretty dusty job. And here, the door has to be closed because got to keep this stuff from getting out into the guests. I'm running the fan on the HVAC system, but you know, it's pretty hard to keep up with that. As you can see, Whew. Anyway, I am going to give this room a rest so I don't have to breathe this in any more than I have to. In the meantime, I'm gonna go run a little errand for my friend Jay. You remember when I was visiting him up at Lake Okanagan? Ever since I was up there, he got the van bug going on. And uh, I, this kind of thing just happens. I live in a van, people see what I'm doing in here and they're just like, I wanna do that too. Any case, Jay's been shopping around. He's found one that's nearby where I am right now. And it's a bit of a drive for him to go from the Okanagan all the way down here to look at it. So I'm gonna go have a quick look at it and just sort of see if it's worth him driving down here to have a look at it. This is what Jay's after. He's been looking at this kind of van. Um, and so I'm gonna have a look at this one for him. What do you guys think? Japanese import? Hmm. All right, let's go. Okay, the dust is settled in here somewhat. That was pretty dusty. And uh, the next step here is going down and adding some more mud and all the little spots that need it all the way along here, the stuff on the walls. So I'll be doing more of that and I'm going to install these patches over top of that now just to give it a bit more structure. That's getting a lot of mud. That's all gonna get feathered out. The proper way to repair all this damage is to cut the drywall and replace all this out. And I was just telling them if I do that, we're getting into a completely different job. And they were like, no, just patch it up as best you can. So that's what we're doing. dusty. Anyway, we're closing up shop here for the night because all that needs to dry. So I just got two coats today. That's good. Back here again. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's pretty exciting to be uh, wrapping this last job up here, I tell you that. So anyway, let's go to work. That's it. 
It's quite a layer on this one. It'll definitely need more, but uh, that needs to sit for several hours. So I'm gonna go work on a video. Oh, here we go again. I don't need that on anymore because I'm in this place by myself. Nobody else is here. And uh, I think the second coat of mud is dry and cured. So I can do the, the final sand or hopefully the final sand, at least close to the final sand. And uh, yeah. I think that's gonna be just fine. Just use a knife to cut that little bit off. Yeah, last time I did the big sand job in here, it got really dusty and it took a little while for that to settle. So. Dusty, dusty. Slipped up on the hillside in West Vancouver last night. And it rained a lot, so I don't know. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do two coats, damn. But uh, it does look a little bit better over there. That feels really good. Not leaving anything behind. Grab my water bottle, grab the garbage, put it in the pocket. Let's go. Ruby, look at that, you guys. <laughs> they got a little bit of water here.
Wow, did you guys see that flooding? There's that big thing on the highway there with the cops and everything. And then on the way out here, those fields, I've never seen the water all the way out like that. Kind of makes me feel a bit uneasy about spending the night here. Because if this will rain just, and it's gonna rain all night, that water level is just gonna go up. This morning, things just did not go to plan. I drove down to Tawasin to meet up with my friend Nick and Michaela, who are coming over from Victoria tonight. They're on their way to Calgary, but the highway outside of the city going to Calgary and the alternate route is closed. There's been flooding and washout in that area. And I don't, it's hard to say how long it'll take to repair all that, but apparently it's just a big traffic jam out there. And on my way down to see those guys resolve that flooding, it just seems like there's highways and things shutting down all over the place today. And uh, there's not a whole lot you can do. And for me, I'm just, <clears throat> I'm thinking to head up to Squamish. That's where I want to go and just sort of park myself for a few days and just chill out and let things sort of subside. I don't want to be down here in the city um, while all this is going on. I don't want to get stuck in the city. Um, and uh, I figure I'll just go up there and spend some time in the forest, do a little hunting and stuff like that. The next few days are going to be nice and sunny, so that's the that's the idea I've got in mind anyway. <laughs> okay, all this water. I stopped by at Shannon Falls. Um, so this is just outside of Squamish, so I'm just gonna go and check it out. Looks <laughs> like the water is just going <laughs> way off of it. I mean, it's, it, it typically does rain here. It's a rainforest, but this has been just incessant, this last, like, stretch. Oh, far out. Take their little photo shoot. I'm gonna run out there and take that. It's just too wet here, guys. <laughs> it's just there, the lens is getting covered in, in water. That's pretty cool. It's pretty hard to show you and I can't really see it that well. But. <laughs> like how do I get in this? Out there. Oh my god. He's walking right by the pot of gold, you guys. Oh, 
that. Yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> wow. Okay, I got a little wet there. It was worth it. I wish I could show you guys more. It's just, it's just like standing in torrential rain. Like a very cold shower, more like it. Wow. Couldn't resist. Could not resist. Amazing. If I could throw the drone up and show you it from that perspective, I would, but you're not allowed to use any of those in this area, so it's about the best I could do. Wow. I just changed you guys. That was really cold and wet. That was pretty cool. Um, and I'll go check out the rest of town. And see what it looks like because apparently there's some pretty massive flooding that's been going on in BC right now. So I'm interested in just going to plug in the news and see what that looks like, but also check out Squamish. So anyway, we'll see. All right, guys, part of, part of me wants to go out and show you guys some of the flooding in town here. I saw a couple videos from some friends that I just uh, stopped off at and just dropped some material off at. Part of the purging process. So that's one last thing that I have to deal with. But um, yeah, it looks like it's there's a lot of big, big time flooding going out there. So I'm just gonna lay low tonight and uh, kind of assess the situation and that's it I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill out so I feel like that's the wisest thing to do